So we've got a question here about um, average daily balance and uh, it's out of chapter 12. It says, suppose the charge account of Strong's mailing service at a local supply store had an 18% interest rate per month on the average daily balance. We want to find that average daily balance. If he had an unpaid balance on this, uh, March 1st, $135.50, he makes a payment on the 15th, then he makes another purchase. I'm sorry, he makes a payment on the 15th, then he makes another purchase on the 18th. His cycle ends on the 31st. So what we want to do is average, find out what the average daily balance is. So what you would do then is take the average, his, his daily balance every day, and just add up the daily balance for all month, and then divide by 31, since there's 31 days of the month. Instead of trying to do that, though, there's a little bit of a shortcut, but that's basically what we're going to do. So what I like to do for these questions is to uh, write out exactly what happens through the whole month. So on the first, he's got a balance of $135.50. That's what it says in the problem. Now he's going to carry that balance all the way to the 15th. So it says here till the next time something happens, it was on the 15th he makes a payment of $50. So that's I'm going to carry that same balance all the way down to the 15th. So that's the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. 11th, and then the 12th, the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th, he makes a payment. So the daily balance changes. It's all $135.50 all the way down to the 15th. On the 15th, he, the balance changes. He makes a $50 payment. So the $135.50, take away 50 bucks because he makes a payment of $50, he winds up with $85.50. So on the 15th, he has this balance now. So it changes. It was all $135.50 all the way down to the 15th. Then it says he keeps that until the 18th of March. The 18th, it says here that a purchase of $38.60 posted on the 18th. So on the 18th, he makes another payment. He, 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 we're going to add $38.60 to the, to the balance. That gives you $124.10 as the new balance. He's going to carry that balance all the way to the 31st. So the 19th, the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, 23rd, the 24th, the 25th, the 26th, the 27th, the 28th, the 29th, the 30th, and the 31st. He ends the day. The month ends on the 31st. So he's going to carry $135.00. Those months, he's going to carry $85.50 for these three, all these days. He carries this for all these days. He carries this balance for the rest of the days. So let's let's count up how many days that would be. Because I really don't want to say, I don't want to add in my calculator 135.5 plus, 135.5 plus, 135.5 plus, 135.5 plus, 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 plus 85.50, plus 85.50, plus 85.50. Plus 124, plus 124, 124, plus, 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 all the way down to and get a total and then divide by 31 to get to average that out. I don't want to average all these numbers. That takes forever. So what you do is you just count out how many days you carried this balance. So let's see your sheet of paper here. He carries a $135 balance and 50 cents. He carries that balance for one, two, three, four, five, well, 14 days carries it for 14 days. So if I multiply that out, I'm going to get how much it would, that, that basically does it a little shorthand of saying 135 plus itself 14 times. Okay, now he's going to carry this balance, 85.50 for how many days? One, two, for three days. So he carried a balance of 85.50 for three days. So I'm going to multiply that out for three days. Then he carries $124.10 for how many days? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, <laughs> excuse me, 14 days. For 14 days. Now, you know what? We could have just simply subtracted the numbers over here. We could have said 15 minus 1 is 14. We could have said 
18 minus 15 is 3 days. But here's the kicker. Here's might be where some people get this wrong. If you take 31 minus 18, if you take the 31st minus the 18th, you get 13, not 14. Right? Let me show you. Right? If I take 31 minus 18, I get 13. And when I counted it, I counted 14 days. So this last piece, you better, if you're going to do it this way, you're going to subtract the two dates, you better add one to it. To you got to count the 18th. Okay, you got to count the 18th here in this case at the very end. Okay, so that might be where some people are getting this wrong. So let's figure out how much we got here. So 135.50 times 14 is 1897. Uh, 85.50 times 3 is 256.5. 14 times $124.10 is $1,737. If I add those together now, I get 3890.9. Now what that just did was it, I would have got the same number if I took each one of these days and added them up. This plus this, you know, 135, 135.50 plus itself. Added up all these, all these, uh, the, what he carried, his balance he carried every day. If I added them all up, I'd get this. So to average it, you divide by 31 because there's 31 days in the month of March. So I take 3, 38.90 divided by 31. That's 125.51. That's the average daily balance that he had. If you averaged up the daily balance all month long, this is the average that you'll get.